Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're at Disneyland because I want to show you all of the snacks around the park. Yes, every single one of them. So let's get going. Now you are going to hear me mention this a lot in our videos, but we're planning a Walt Disney World trip for uh, upcoming in May here. And I'm watching some videos on YouTube trying to find all of the snacks in a particular park. And I can't find any for Magic Kingdom or Epcot or any of them. I mean, there's videos sort of about them, but not like park specific. So I'm like, maybe you guys want the same thing. A park specific snack video that'll show you every single snack around the park so that you can help plan your food budgets. And we're not talking about seasonal snacks because, you know, I know some of you are coming in like six months. So we're gonna avoid the seasonal stuff. You can check out my other videos for seasonal things, but uh, we're gonna just try to find all the ones that are usually on the menu. We're also gonna kind of avoid like silly things. What I mean, like pickles and um, croissants and no, we're specifically looking for the like Disney centric or the iconic type snacks. We're gonna bring them all up to you. We're gonna go land by land and walk around the park. So I, I, without further ado. Now, maybe it goes without saying, maybe it doesn't. Uh, they've got popcorn right here on Main street it's not open at the moment but they've got popcorn all around the park uh, so popcorn is definitely a Disney icon and on the opposite end opposite gray moments with mr. Lincoln is a churro cart now again not open at the moment but churros another Disneyland staple the fun thing about the churro carts is that every single cart around Disneyland is going to have a different specialty seasonal churro that tends to rotate just check out all the churro carts as you're walking around to find what each of the specialty ones are but every single one of them will sell a regular churro as well now next up on our left here is going to be Gibson girl ice cream parlor and I actually haven't really ever got ice cream from this place maybe we need to rectify that soon but I'm gonna put the mobile order menu on your screen right now I am gonna try as best as possible to show you the actual item if I've already purchased it I'm purchasing quite a few of them today to show you however uh, you can see the mobile order menu right now for what's available at Gibson girl now if we come in here to candy palace we're not gonna spend a whole lot of time because this is covered in our food guide but just know that in here you can get a whole lot of Mickey shaped treats like caramel apples and the hand pies. Hand pies are, uh, each of the confectionery places have a different flavor hand pie. It's basically like a custom Pop-Tart, if you will, but they're worth checking out. And then we have a refreshment corner. Now for snacks, they just have three pretzels. There's the classic Mickey pretzel, which is the most recent item we've gotten from here. But our favorite is the cream cheese filled pretzel. They also have a jalapeno pretzel that looks similar. Occasionally they'll have seasonal pretzels like the violet pretzel that I wish so bad that they'd bring back. Right next door is the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe. Now this is probably the best place to find snacks at all of Disneyland, but most of them are generally usually seasonal. We're not going to highlight all those seasonal items, but here is a quick look at some of them that we have got in the past. Of their consistent menu items, my favorite snack is the cinnamon roll. It's great as a breakfast item first thing in the morning or as a snack throughout the day. It's a great equal opportunity snack. My second favorite is the Matterhorn macaroon. It's pretty dense and very filling, but it is made with coconut, so that might turn a few people off. Uh, one final item of note is the Raspberry Rose Mickey Macaron, which has been around for several years now. Jolly Holiday is also home to a lot of muffins, croissants, and other sort of pastries. Check out the mobile order menu if you would like to see everything that Jolly Holiday has to offer. If you are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. And if you have any questions about the food you're seeing, drop them in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer them. Quick word about the popcorn carts as we uh, come by here again. So popcorn buckets at Walt Disney World are uh, refillable for a discount, not so at Disneyland. Occasionally they'll run magic key promos to that effect, but it's usually limited and again, magic key. This little green cart here on Main Street sells turkey legs. In addition to turkey legs, they sell the pickles, 
and um, corn on the cob. Now, one corn on the cob item of note here at Disneyland is the chili lime. You can get buttered as well, but the chili lime is like a Mexican flavor type corn on the cob that is unique to Disneyland. Definitely need to give that a try if you do like Mexican flavors. Now, I don't want to forget the ice cream carts too. Take a look at these frozen treats. Of course, the Nestle's Mickey ice cream bar is the classic Mickey bar that you have to get if you've never had it before. Or the Nestle's Mickey ice cream sandwich. Both of those are phenomenal, but they have some other options here as well. Take a look at the castle from this direction and hang a left for our next location. Perhaps one of the best snacks at Disneyland is the cheesy garlic pretzel bread from Maurice's Treats. Now this is fairly new and it replaced the cheddar garlic bagel twist, but they've also got a variety of breakfast pastries, including the newest item is a pink or blue cinnamon roll. Now to be honest, this doesn't look that great and I'd stick with the cinnamon roll from Jolly Holiday. One of my favorite items to get from here is the Boysen Apple Freeze. It's probably the best frozen drink at Disneyland. Now, we're not gonna focus on drinks in this video. Uh, honestly, we, we usually don't buy them to begin with. Um, we're just perfectly fine with three cups of water. We'll save the money and the sugar by not getting beverages. So we're not gonna put any beverages in this video except for a key few. Now over here at the Plaza Inn, they do have some snacks and desserts that you can get, but you should be aware that the Plaza Inn is only open afternoon for quick service like walk-in guests. Before then, it is a reservations required character breakfast. The other thing of note is that this is cafeteria style. So they just kind of put desserts out on a table and you go by and you grab it and you put it on your tray. I've found that the desserts in here are not consistent. It just really depends on what they're making or what they have that day. So I can't highlight anything in particular, but you can go in there and get whatever they happen to have. Heading into Adventureland, the first thing that we're gonna see on the left-hand side here is the Tiki Juice Bar, which is available for mobile order only, as the line that used to accumulate out here uh, clogged the area. Here you'll find the classic Dole Whip and Dole Whip Float. Nothing too fancy. But if you want more options, go around the building on the other side of the Enchanted Tiki Room, and here you will find the Tropical Hideaway which in addition to pineapple has strawberry and mango flavors available by themselves or mixed in a swirl. You can also order three different types of bao buns. Now in the past they've had lumpia, but unfortunately it seems to have disappeared from the menu at the moment. Sad day, I just confirmed it. The cast member said they have discontinued the lumpia and he doesn't think it's coming back. Bengal Barbecue here is one of my favorite places to eat at Disneyland in terms of food, but I don't necessarily consider the food here snacks, though they do come in snack portions because they're like six, seven dollar meat skewers. So you can consider them a snack if you want to. But what I really want to call to your attention is the tiger tail breadstick here. Now this is probably one of the worst snacks at Disneyland. So I do not recommend getting it at all. It's very dry and stale and just probably the worst bread that you've had in like the last year. That's how bad it is. Um, but I want you to know so you don't order it. So I asked in a community post and you all told me that you want me to do a list of the worst food at Disneyland. Now I am gonna need some help here. Uh, put in the comments the worst thing that you have had here. And if I haven't tried it, <laughs> I'll go give it a try. We are gonna walk right by all of the table service restaurants because we wanna just talk about the things that are easily accessible to all guests without having to make reservations or dedicate a lot of sit down time. So next up, we're gonna come over to Tiana's Palace. Here, the snack of choice is the house beignet. Now I've had this twice and haven't been wowed by it either time. It's filled with lemon and is okay if you're looking for a side to go with your meal, but there are better options for beignets. And for that, we're gonna pass right through the seating area here for Tiana's because it's on the other side. And here you'll find the mint julep bar. Now this is where you can get those standard Mickey beignets. They also sell the standard New Orleans mint julep and occasionally seasonal mint juleps that are both fantastic in my opinion, though it does kind of taste like mouthwash, so I see why some people don't like it. One of Disneyland's newest snacks that's been all the rage thanks to TikTok or Instagram or something like that are the chocolate chip cookies from the Harbor Galley here. Now these are just Toll House cookies, but they're served warm and delicious. A couple of weeks ago, they sold out in 
the first few hours and had a long line, but now you can mobile order them and they're available even later in the evening. So there's really no reason to come over here. In fact, I tried to come at Rope Drop this morning because that's what people used to do. And it didn't even open up till 10. So, so don't come here first thing in the morning. Hungry Bear Restaurant is one of two locations at Disneyland that sells funnel cakes. Now I know someone out there watching this just has to get a funnel cake every time they visit a theme park. It's tradition. And this is one of the places that you're gonna find it. If you happen to be visiting during the Critter Country closing, Hungry Bear Restaurant will still be open during this time. For more information about this, check out my construction update, which I'll put a link to down in the description. Now, if you love popcorn, but you'd like something a little different from the standard buttered variety, come here to Katsaka's Kettle. This is where you're gonna find some different types of popcorn. Although all I'm seeing at the moment is the standard butter variety. Hmm. Well, sometimes in the past they've had some really strange type popcorn. Some of it pretty decent, others not so great. I don't know why nothing's available right now except for butter. Boba Fett, Boba Fett. Always gotta do it, folks. Perhaps the most iconic drink at Disneyland comes from Docking Bay 7, and it's the cold brew black calf. It was so popular here that Walt Disney Worlders complained, said so Disney brought it there too. Anytime I go into Docking Bay, there's usually a dozen of these being made or in the act of being picked up at any given moment. That's just how popular this is. And that clip you saw, the counter was today, because of course I had to put my statement to the test. And uh, yep, still just as popular. I just grabbed a free cup of water instead. Oga's Cantina is a popular location for beverages, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. But did you know that they also have snacks? There's no pictures on their menu, but I just tried the garlic cheese five blossom spread with spicy cheese sauce this morning, and it was super delicious. It's basically a fancy version of the garlic cheesy pretzel bread, but without the pretzel and add in some Parmesan cheese. I mean, it was amazing. It's, it's actually even better than the cheesy pretzel bread. But now that I know they have snacks, <laughs> I only found out about it in preparation for this video. I'm gonna have to go there a couple more times in the future and try a few more of those snacks. And now we come to it, the most controversial snack at Disneyland, blue or green milk. If you've ever had these, sound off in the comments whether you're team blue milk or team green milk. I'm team blue milk all the way. Additionally, the milk stand sells poly starch puff bread, which is a flaky pastry type snack with a crunchy sweet streusel shell. Now we find ourselves in Frontierland at the Golden Horseshoe. They have a few ice cream type treats like sundaes and ice cream floats, but the items aren't available on mobile order, or at least they aren't today, the day I filmed this. So I don't have any photos or footage, but you can check out what they have for yourself when you come. I just want you to be aware that they do have these here. What we have gotten in the past is the mozzarella sticks, which you can order a la carte for $8.29 or with fries for an additional $2.70 at $10.99. Next door is the Stage Door Cafe, which is another location where you can get funnel cake. In addition to the standard powdered sugar funnel cake, you can also get a strawberry funnel cake here. And while I've never ordered it, the mobile order menu leads me to believe the whipped cream is Mickey shaped. Now I say leads me to believe because more often than not, I find that the mobile order picture is different from what you actually get, which is why as much as possible, I am trying to show you actual footage of the items that I've purchased and eaten myself. Uh, but sometimes that's not possible because there are so many things at Disneyland and I just haven't eaten them all even now. I've backtracked a bit up to Red Rose Tavern as this location has one of my favorite snacks in all of Disneyland, and that's the gray stuff. Now, right now they have a one called the Spring Stuff, which I haven't gotten yet, but regardless of what season it happens to be, the flavors are generally the same with some minor differences depending on the season. If you've had the gray stuff at Walt Disney World, ours is better, hands down. My opinion, of course. Edelweiss Snacks is home to mostly items we've already covered elsewhere in the video, but at this location, as well as the small cart outside of Storybook Land Canal Boats, we sell frozen beverages. Now, usually I'm all over this, but the flavors aren't anything special. And there's a 7-Eleven just outside the park at the corner of Catella and Harbor. If your hotel is down that way, where you can buy a Slurpee for a fraction of the cost. At the far end of Fantasyland is Troubadour Tavern. Now there's no snacks here, unless you want a baked potato as a snack, 
I tend to view these items more as meals. Again, you can check out my food guide for a closer look at the options here at Troubadour. Up in Toontown, you'll find Cafe Daisy, which is home to Daisy's Goody Goody Donuts. These are house-made mini donuts with cinnamon sugar. They're the only thing on the menu at breakfast, but they're available all day long. Now we venture all the way down to Tomorrowland, and first we'll come across is Galactic Grill. Aside from Jolly Holiday, Galactic Grill is another location you want to pay attention to for seasonal snacks. They're not always good, but they're certainly unique and interesting most of the time. If they ever bring back the Darth by chocolate, be sure to get it. It pops on and off the menu rather frequently. It's a multi-layer chocolate parfait that's worth converting to the dark side for. The only snack you'll find at Alien Pizza Planet is the Alien Macaroon. Now, despite the name, this is a macaron, not a macaroon. There is a difference. The name is just because the aliens do that ooh sound. And that's it. Now my favorite snacks at Disneyland are the cheesy garlic pretzel bread, the cinnamon roll from Jolly Holiday, of course the gray stuff, and the pineapple Dole Whip. Let me know down in the comments which of these that you preferred, and then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on the way out. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.